Sagri plays a vital role on election days. And I think that, you know, it's a collective, it should be a, our collective business to make these children or the youth to know that they don't have to engage. Because more often than not, when they do engage in thuggery and, and, and election violence, some of them end up dead like we just told you. And we saw that, and it played out in the three states. Okay? So I think that uh, uh, there should be a mechanism to be able to massively begin to uh, engage our youth. You don't have to die for anyone to come as your governor, as your honorable member, and or as your senator, and or as your president. That life is gone, and it's gone forever, and there's nothing that can be done. Those are the ones we witnessed, or we saw, or we, 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 we had information about. What about the several more that we're not aware of? And it's, this is ongoing from election circle to election circle. So our, our collective observation and our, we are trying to say that there's so much that can be done to check the menace of election violence, particularly when people lose their lives, not just people, youth of this country. The security situation in the Jumu local government area was dark. Senator Dine Melayo hails from the local government. There was outbreak of violence in Ayeto reward, which made it difficult for voters to cast their votes. And as a result of this, there was low turnout of voters, and the security operatives did their best in bringing the situation under control. They voted in, in favor of the APC candidate in the person of Alahaji Usman Ududu. Uh, this did not come as a surprise, as voters voted massively for him. In conclusion, there were allegations of electoral malpractices in the local government. It was alleged that result sheets were prefilled before the INEC, before the election day. The incident was thoroughly investigated by INEC and generally the elections were peaceful in Cotton Cafe, local government area of Kogi State. In Lokoja, local government area, ADC pulled 758 votes APC 19,105, PDP 4,028, and SDP 10,380. A good number of security operatives were deployed to Lokaja, being the capital of the state. But despite that number of security personnel deployed to Lokaja, there was electoral violence. Political thugs made attempts to scuttle the process. Two persons were killed by stray bullets as at the Adankolo polling units in Lokoja. And this happened when some hoodlums tried to snatch ballot boxes at the polling unit. Now, this really infuriated the youths who embarked on a massive protest. Massive protest. Two persons were dead, and the youth could not take it. They couldn't understand it. They couldn't handle it, and they just went wild. In, the, in, 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 in trying to express their displeasure at what had happened, they set the house of the APC chieftain ablaze. However, the security personnel were able to bring the situation under control. 